Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. I trust you're having a fantastic evening and you enjoyed the racing that took place out in the Cape and at um, Scottsville. Um, it was trick two tricky cards, but um, we still managed to enjoy the racing. I'm going to have the postman tipping out at Turfentain and he's going to tip us a nine race program. So here's the postman. Yeah, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. No matter where in the world you guys are, and a big warm welcome to the Top Tipper family. Before we get on to the selections for Thursday the 27th, just some feedback for the Vol meeting on the 25th. Our best bet, um, Ivy League, arrived like a good thing should. Um, on the total, we still pay 2 rand 50 a win. Um, great, great bet, um, and I hope you all jumped on. I was very disappointed, and I'm not here to knock any jockey, but I was very, very disappointed with the ride on our value bet. Um, if you go and watch the rerun there, the horse seemed to be um, looking for galloping room, never found it, never found it, never found it. Seemed to have been up every other horse's backside. Um, and when Mini Coop sort of found the gap, ran on for third. However, still paid one rand ninety a place. So, you know, when, when we take our bets and we're taking units, one unit to win, two units to place, you're still showing a profit. But yeah, let's watch Mini Coop next time out. As I said, guys, racing comes to us on Thursday, the 27th of July. We're at Turpentine. We're on the standside track. Nine races carded. And this is the first, uh, or the last meeting before um, I have any say on the Gold Cup. Race one, due off at 1,200 hours. Made in juvenile plate, over 1,400 meters. And this is not part of any exotic. Take note, horse 11, Champimpi, has been scratched. We go through the selections quickly. I've gone 8, 4, 6, and 9. I do think Lady Lennox, Caden Brewer for the Laird Yard. Um, was running on strongly. Go and watch that rerun. And I do think with a nice draw of 5 and the inform Alec Laird Yard, I think this will give a very, very good account of itself. 11 to 2, again, watch it go down, maybe worth a place bet, even if it's paying um, 8 or 9 to 10 to run a drum. So race 1, 8, 4, 6, and 9. Race 2, this is the first leg of our bipot. Um, Joff at 1230, made in juvenile plate over 1400 meters. We have joint favorites, both from the Stuart Pedigree Yard. Um, I'm not over keen on either one of them. I'm not saying they cannot win. I think they've had their chances. And for that reason, I've put three horses in the buy part in order of preference. I've gone one caretaker, Cabela Mazziani for the Azzi Yard. Cabela has over 60% uh, plate strike rate for the yard. And I'm looking for an improved effort from this one. I've also thrown in the four, I uh, spied, uh, and Magutla for the Zaki yard. We know that Tyrone doesn't sharpen them up first and out, so let's look for an improved effort there. And of the two pedigree horses, I do prefer, prefer the ten. In our bar pot, I have gone one, four, and ten. At selections, one, four, ten, and eight. The third race on the card, Geoff at 13.05. This is a maiden plate for the girls over 1160 meters. And I do think it's a match race in two. Um, please take note 17, the reserve runner is out. And the horse that I think will um, go close, yeah, is horse number three. There's a secret recipe. Uh, Donald Hirtzen for the Azzi Yard. They could get a quick double. And um, I think is drawn on the right side of the track. Um, Donald has. I've ridden this one before. Um, I see they put blinkers back on this one. And I do think this will jump. I think it will be up there with the light, uh, or with the two and a half off. And I think this will give a decent account of itself. For second, I've gone for the 11, um, Forever in My Dreams. K 
Calvin Habib for the uh, lead yard. Again, they could get a quick double. Um, we go and we look. This one did show pace with Cade in the board. Um, is coming back from a rest. But so are many others in this field. And I do think that this one will also go very close. In bipods, I've only gone two horses, three and 11. Uh, place accumulator as well. I think those two will be sufficient. For third, I've gone for the eight. Bloop, bloop. Um, Dennis Soares for the David Nieverhazen yard. There has been a touch of support from this one. So watch if there's any follow through. Watch this one go down. Um, especially if you're taking place accumulators, looking for a punt on the nose. And then for fourth, we've gone for the one Wilkies. Please take note, this did run second in the work riders on Tuesday. And Mogutla gets a ride here for St. John Gray. Um, if it takes its place, maybe good enough for back end of trial factors and quartets. But I do think 3 and 11 are sufficient for exotics. And we've gone 3, 11, 8 and 1. Fourth race on the card, you're off at 1340, made in plate over 1160 meters. And we go through here. The favorite is the five, Captain Warrow. It's among the Kamala for the Spice Yard. Um, not a bad effort. Last time out, over 1400 meters, coming back to the sprinting distance. Again, must have a big chance. However, the dogs are barking um, about this number 10, the Octagon. That's Gavin Lerina for the lead yard. Um, watch and see if there's any support for it. Um, if there is, um, maybe worth a punt on the nose. In my exotics, I'm putting only two horses, five and ten. Um, if the five cannot win, I hope the ten does. And if this one looks well going down, if there is a touch of support, I think is drawn on the right side of the track as well. I'm going to throw this one in. Um, if I'm taking swingers, I'm going 10, 5, 6, and 3. And I'm going to box those for swingers, trifectas, um, and quartets. So we do think that 10 and 5 are sufficient. Um, pick sixes. If you want to take a chance and you think one of the first timers will arrive, um, and you say to yourself, well, I'll, bank a, I'll take a chance and bank a five. If a first time arrives, this will be the first one of the race runners. Maybe you can do that. But as I said, just watch the betting. Watch this horse 10 go down. Um, horse six as well, John Wick. There has been support for it from sevens to fives. Um, again, watch this one go down as well. Ant Magutler is riding at the top of his game. Um, if looking well, include this one and everything. The fifth race on the card, this is due off at 14.15. First leg of jackpot one, mid rate at 75 handicap, over 1,000 meters. And we go through here. Um, betting is quite open. Um, on studying this race, I'm, I'm throwing three horses in the place accumulator. Ach, my apologies, in the bipod. I'm going in order preference one, two, seven, and nine. Um, pick sixes. Maybe we can bank at the previous leg, put four horses in here. I do think Tayuba has got a massive chance. I think is drawn on the right side of the track. Um, very, very speedy sort. And I think will certainly give a good account of itself. Iron Scar again, former there for all of us to see. Diego de Gavea for the pedigree yard. Diego knows this one very, very well. Must be included. And what I've done, I've thrown in the seven Little Miss money bags. Gav Lorena for the Carson yard. Um, Gavin has ridden this one before behind uh, Cold Hot Stair. I think is drawn on the right side. Um, is first run for the uh, new yard. Um... Obviously, we're looking for an improved effort from this one. I'm going to throw this one in all exotics and well, so, uh, as well. So we've gone one, two, seven, and nine. Race six on the card. This is the uh, maiden plate. Uh, my apologies. This is a mid rate of 87 for the girls. Draw off at 1450. Um, over 1400 meters. And in this race, again, I do think 
It's a match race and two narrow first legs in the six LMB. Sianna Sasebo taking his two and a half off for the Terry Yard. I really think this one will go nice and close. Currently around about three to one. First selection. For second, I have gone for a real rough here. This is horse number nine. She's a rainbow. Nicely drawn and won. Uh, Cabela Mazziani for Brett Crawford. Just go and look this horse's uh, last three runs. Um, where it's been drawn, been drawn in the car park, 11 out of 11, 11 out of 11, 10 out of 10. I certainly think with a better draw, this one could be there and thereabouts. For third, I've gone for the four, simple, simple, JP van der Merwe for Mike de Kock. Um, I do think that this one, again, good enough for back end of trifecta and quartet. And for fourth, I've gone again for uh, Unilate. I am looking for improved effort here. Um, and for good, they did say this horse is better than the form. And I'm looking for this one to run to back in of tough factors and quartets. So race six, six, nine, four, and three. And putting three horses in the by part, four, six, and nine. We move on to race seven, job at 1525. Merit rate of 68 handicap over 1600 meters. And I do think this is the best bet on the card. Gavin Arena, Tony Peter, Napoleon, currently around about 22 to 10. Um, we're going to get involved here. Yeah. As I said, I do think the best bet on the card. Um, swingers and trifectas, I'm throwing in 12 and 5 with it. Uh, 3 to win by 12 and 5. Let's see what happens. Um, quartets, I'm going to go 3 to win with 1, 5, and 12 box rows. Let's see what happens. I didn't say I do think he's the best bet on the card for me, banker in all bets. Eighth race on the card, drop at 15.55, middle stakes over 1,800 meters. And in this race, I think for me, it's a race in two, narrow first selection. is the ultra consist consistent horse number eight, Miller Hugh, JP van der Merwe for the Van Furen Yard. I do think that this one will certainly be running on when others have cried enough. Uh, they've pulled the ball, they've kept the blinkers off this one. And as I said, this will be running on when others have cried enough. My narrow first selection. Um, this is from Horse 5, Perfect Witness. And this is Gavin Arena for the Dawson Yard. Um, Gavin has ridden on two occasions, two runs back. He did beat uh, Now I Got You. And again, I do think that this one will be there when the whips are cracking. Must be including all exotics. For third, I've thrown in the horse four, Zuzan. I've finished two and a half lengths behind Miller Hugh last time out. Um, was slow and I think will be better over 1,800 meters. You know, larger perms, throw this one. If you take your pick sixes, must be included. For fourth, I've gone for the one um, in Glamo. Big weight of 62, uh, but again, can certainly be there and there are bars for in back end of tough factors and quartets. So race eight, eight, five, four, and one. Smaller perms, five and eight. Big perms, three and all, three, four, five, and eight. We move on to the lucky last race, nine, drop at 16.30, mid rate at 80 handicap over 1,800 meters. And in this race, we find my value bet. And this is horse number 13, nothing else matters. Currently around about 11 to 2. Um, Cabela Mazziani for the Crawford Yard. I really think that this one must run in the first three. Um, have a look and see what you can get for a place. Remember, if you're taking places uh, uh, and wins a unit is 1 to 2. Um, if you do that and he runs a drum, pays 170, 180, you're still showing a profit. So I have gone 13 as a nice value bet. Uh, second selection, that's Rafia, the 14. So Yannis Sasebo claiming his two and a half. I'm looking for an improved effort from this one. Um, and again, nicely drawn at five. Can be there and thereabouts. For third, gone for another Rafia, the five. Every cloud, Samanga Tamala for the uh, Bar and Berta Sivet Foslu. Um, Samanga rides well for the yard. I'm certainly looking for an improved effort. Um, on its last run, there was a touch of support for this one, and I think Barrent is expecting a decent effort. For fourth, I have gone for the one free movement, top weight, 
drawn a little wide. Muzi Yeti for Robbie Sage. Um, Gavin has jumped off this one, so we've got to take note of that. And anyway, I've got that one to run fourth. So race 9, 13, 14, 5 and 1. And take note, 11, as I said, you can't hurry your love, has been scratched. Guys, there are a couple um, first-timers that are in the betting. Check for betting moves. Check for jockey changes. Check for scratchings. If one of these selections are scratched and I have put two horses or three horses in the exotics, please just elevate the next one, include that one. We don't want to go out like that. As I said, I do fancy Napoleon today. Um, I think 22 to 10 is a very, very good price. And I quite fancy the value bet. Please look out and race four for that horse 10. See if there's any betting moves on that. If there are, we should follow that as well. Um, we'll chat with regards to the Gold Cup on Saturday. You take it easy. You look after yourself. Um, break a leg. Stephen, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that input, the postman. I see you've tipped a nine race program. Your normal bar pot and PA. I see you've gone with uh, one or two bankers. And um, I see you've got your jackpot one, jackpot two. Your best bet comes in race seven, number five, Lady Elliot at 22 to 10. And your value bet, race nine, number 13, nothing else matches at 11 to 2. So that's some fantastic value right there. Please, Lord, let them arrive and let the punters enjoy their racing. So all in all, guys, enjoy. Have fun, break a leg, and cheers for now.